Standard equipment for this procedure will include tongue depressors and bandage scissors. While one rescuer maintains cervical stabilization, a second rescuer will cut off the jersey and shoulder pads. The rescuer should cut away from the victim's head and neck. One cut will go down the center of the jersey to expose the front of the pads, allowing for the pads to be cut opened. The next two cuts will go from the sleeves, under the arms, and down the side of the jersey. The shoulder pad underarm straps can be removed or cut at this time. Some styles of helmets require the cheek pads to be removed prior to the helmet coming off the victim. We demonstrate this technique using a simple tongue depressor. Once the cheek pads are removed, the helmet and shoulder pads can be removed as a single unit. To remove the helmet and shoulder pads as one unit, two rescuers will need to assist with lifting the trunk slightly, while another rescuer holds stabilization at the victim's cheeks. The person who was at the head previously will now be free to remove the helmet and pads as seen here.